Wait, don't reinstall Windows just yet. If you're upgrading your hard drive to an SSD or moving to your larger SSD or hard drive, there's no need to reinstall Windows or all the apps. You can simply clone your current Windows system, complete with activation keys, all the apps, and all the settings to your new hard drive or SSD. This method keeps all the data intact, making the process and hustle free. For the first thing you will have to do, right click on here click on disk management here you will find your new ssd or hard drive whichever you have entered to your pc if you find here offline right click on it select online now it's online it's showing unknown right click on it select initialize disk click on here now you will have to click on gpt click on ok close it now you will have to check out the description it will find a link just open the link now you'll have to click on here download this for free download has been started after downloading just click on here now click on yes it will open automatically now you'll have to click on yes just wait a few seconds now here you'll have to click on here this is disk zero is basically your drive where you have installed windows you can see my windows 11 is digital activated my windows is genuine and activation keys and all the applications and files folders all will be transferred to this new ssd just remember the new disk must be the same size or larger than the old one now you'll have to click on here if you click on edit disk layout you will have to choose the disk layout you can edit it but it's much risky you will have to select out of it the desk and one thing you will have to remember you will have to check this option sector by sector copy this will copy everything now you will have to click and proceed click and continue now you'll have to wait it will take some time it will depend on your hard drive or ssd speed now on the screen you'll have to click on here automatically adjust the boot order or boot from the current target now you'll have to click on delete now just wait a few seconds to reboot the PC. Now all set. Just go to your BIOS settings and set the boot priority to the new SSD.